all you need to know about using a menstrual cup. In this presentation, you will learn how to become a menstrual cup pro. Firstly though, let's have a quick look at some of the amazing benefits of using a menstrual cup. Menstrual cups are eco-friendly. You can save on one shopping bag of rubbish full of plastic and fibres every cycle. Cups are safe and hygienic. They are made from medical grade silicon, meaning that they do not harbour bacteria. There are no bleaches or fibres. A menstrual cup does not interfere with the vagina's natural lubricating ability. Saves money. If you only use menstrual cups, you can save over $8,000 in a lifetime when comparing the average cost of a lifetime using disposable sanitary products. Menstrual cups are convenient. A menstrual cup only needs emptying it two to six times a day and holds up to four times more fluid than a tampon. Lifestyle friendly. You can do more, even go to sleep with it in. More about the lunette cup. A lunette menstrual cup is as easy to use as a non-applicator tampon. Simply fold the cup and insert and empty it two to four times per day during normal flow. The lunette is user-friendly, comfortable, and travels with you or in you so that you'll never run out of supplies. The lunette menstrual cup is safe and healthy and made from soft medical grade silicon. It doesn't contain rubber latex or bisphenol A, BPA. This allows the natural process of shedding menstrual blood, dead cells, and bacteria to occur as nature intended. The Lunette Menstrual Cup has received approval from international government health agencies including the FDA, or Food and Drug Administration in the USA, and the TGA, the Therapeutic Goods Administration in Australia. Over 90% of Lunette Menstrual Cup users are more satisfied with their life during their periods as compared to their life satisfaction when using disposable products. Two sizes. How to choose your size. There are two menstrual cup sizes, a Model 1 and a Model 2. Which size you choose is largely dependent on how heavy your menstrual flow is. You would choose a menstrual one cup if you have a light to moderate flow, are a young person or teenager, have a sensitive bladder or tight vaginal muscles. A model one cup will hold up to 25 mils. You would choose a model two cup if you have normal to heavy menstrual flow or have had a vaginal childbirth. A model two cup will hold up to 30 mils. How do I use it? All menstrual cups come with instructions. Please take your time to read them. Allow yourself a few cycles to master how to use a menstrual cup so that you can become a menstrual cup pro. Quite simply though, all that you need to do is wash your hands, fold the cup, insert it, learn how often to empty it, empty your cup and rinse it. Let's look at these steps in a little more detail. How do I fold it? See fold or heart fold? There are a few different folds that you can choose. One of the most common is the C fold. Simply fold your cup in half, then in half again, so that the rim looks like the letter C or a heart. Folding techniques. If you search the internet, you will find quite a few different folding techniques. The fold that you choose will come down purely to personal preference and with what you find easiest or that works best for you. The punch down or shell fold and the seven fold produce a smaller diameter so they make make inserting the cup even easier. Insertion step by step. First, fold the cup and insert rim first into the vagina. Allow the cup to open up and give a little quarter turn to make sure that the cup is fully open. Then push it in as far as it will go, aiming towards your tailbone. The cup may wriggle down a little further to find its happy place. You won't feel this, it just happens. The cup is now snug, held in position by the seal formed with the walls of the vagina and pressure from the vaginal muscles. If the stem can be felt, then it can be trimmed back with sharp scissors one notch at a time and even trimmed right off for people with a low sitting cervix. You can see from this slide that the cup actually sits fairly low in the vagina, not far from the opening. How to remove the lunette menstrual cup. This is best done while sitting on the toilet or squatting in the shower. Wash your hands first. Step by step. Bear down as if you're about to have a bowel motion. This will lower the cup so that you can reach the base of the cup with your finger and thumb. There are grip rings on the base of the cup. Squeeze the bottom of the menstrual cup to break the seal that is holding the cup in place. 
Gently pull the cup down and remove it. If you hold on to the base of the cup, you will have full control of the contents and be able to empty it into the toilet or down the shower drain. If you pull the cup by the stem, the suction will not be broken and you will not have control of the cup or its contents. Then you can simply rinse the cup under the shower or under a tap and reinsert. If you're in a public toilet, simply wipe out the cup with toilet paper and then reinsert. Menstrual cups come in a few different colours and varying sizes. The Lunar Menstrual Cups shown here come in five colours. The colours are approved by the FDA and are baked into the silicon so that they are completely stable and will not leach out into your body. Be aware of nasty cups. When choosing a menstrual cup, please ensure that it is from a registered company and a brand that is TGA and FDA listed. There are over 20 brands out there, but only four in Australia and New Zealand have these approvals. There is nothing worse than spending your hard-earned cash on poor quality silicon, perishing and cracking cups and broken stems. Frequently asked questions. Can I use the cup during the night? A menstrual cup holds up to four times as much fluid as a pad or tampon and only collects the fluid instead of absorbing your natural lubrication. Therefore, a cup is completely safe to leave inside your body for up to 12 hours continuously. So yes, you can wear your cup to bed. Can I clean my lunette with normal hand soap or in the dishwasher? Please do not use anything else to clean your cup other than water or specifically designed cup cleansers. The risk here is not to your cup but to your vagina. The chemicals used in normal soaps are harsh and can leave residue on the cup even if you can't see it and it may cause irritation. How do I clean the cup? Looking after your cup is very simple. Before each cycle you need to sterilise your cup. Simply boil your cup in water for 5 minutes or use a disinfecting cup wipe. If you are travelling or you need your cup in a hurry, Lunette has a specifically designed cup wipe that you can simply wipe your cup with. The wipes have a very high alcohol content and the alcohol sterilises the cup and evaporates from the cup very quickly. This ensures that there is no residue left. If you feel that you would like bubbles and more to clean your cup, Lunette has a Feel Better Cup Wash liquid that is specifically designed for cleaning cups. It has a fresh and invigorating citrus aroma. How do I empty the cup in a public toilet? Start by washing your hands before you go into the cubicle. If you can use a cubicle that has a sink, then great. If there is no sink, then you can use some toilet paper to wipe out the cup before you reinsert it. Make sure that there is no paper left on the cup. How do I empty the cup if I'm out tramping or camping? If you can't be sure of the safety of the water available, you can use a lunette disinfecting wipe. The wipes are biodegradable. Sometimes my menstrual cup leaks. Why? There are three main reasons why this may occur. Firstly, make sure that the cup is fully opened. Rotate or twist the base of the cup. Or you can insert a clean finger up next to the cup and feel all the way around to check that your cup has opened fully. If it hasn't opened properly, it will leak. So remove the cup, reinsert again, and refer back to the how to insert instructions. Another reason is that sometimes your cervix may sit to the side of the cup and be resting on the side of the vaginal wall instead of sitting centrally in the vagina and above the cup. In this case, insert a clean finger and run it around the edge of the cup to make sure the cervix is nudged into a central position or inside your cup. The cervix feels like the tip of your nose and is a finger-like protrusion. Another reason for leaks is heavy flow. If your flow is heavy, the cup will need to be emptied more often. If the cup is full, it will leak. What if I can't remove the menstrual cup? Firstly, relax. Breathe deeply and focus on your vaginal muscles. It can't get lost in there and will ultimately work its way down through the forces of nature. Bear down like you are using your bowels and the cup will work its way down. Stop pushing as soon as you can get a grip on the base of the cup. Grasp the bottom of the cup with your thumb and forefinger and pinch to release the suction. Then rock it back and forth gently and ease it out. The best way to do this is squatting in the shower or sitting on the toilet with your feet flat on the floor. You will work out the technique that is best for you. How long can I use the lunette cup? With proper care, a cup may last up to 10 years. 
Menstrual cups do have a tendency to discolour with age and some people choose to get a new cup when it starts to discolour. Are they expensive? At first glance they may seem expensive when compared to a one month supply of disposable pads and tampons. However, Lunette is a one-time purchase that will last for years, allowing you to spend your money on other things. It seems complicated. Using a menstrual cup is no more complicated than the first time using a tampon. It's just a new technique. It's not difficult after a few tries, and practice makes perfect. After a few cycles, you'll be a pro. How do people describe the switch? Never heard of a menstrual cup? They have been around for a long time and they are a much better solution than pads and tampons. Here's how our fans describe their switch from disposables to a menstrual cup. Life-changing, liberating, comfortable, empowering, amazing, environmentally friendly, awesome, game-changing. Lunette gives back. Here's a little news about the company. Lunette menstrual products are proudly made in Finland, a country which has a strong history of sustainable practices. Packaging and shipping is undertaken by a work centre for people with partial disabilities, allowing everyone the right to work. Lunette also gives back by donating menstrual cups to girls in disadvantaged areas in Kenya through the Cup Foundation. The Cup Foundation enables girls to go to school during their period rather than staying home and skipping school. It also educates boys and girls about menstruation. Lunette hopes that you embrace your life and live it to the fullest all month, every month. We also wish you health, happiness and liberation in gaining freedom from disposable strings and wings.